Margaret, there is a very interesting red object sitting on the <laughs> table next to you, a piece of crochet. Can you explain what that is? Uh, th thank you, Steve. And you so, can hold it up so, to the yeah. audience so that we can see this. So I said earlier that um, sea slugs and corals and lots of um, organisms in coral reefs embody a kind of geometry called hyperbolic geometry, which is an alternative to the Euclidean geometry we learn about at school. And mathematicians discovered this hyperbolic geometry in the early 19th century, but it was only after hundreds of years of trying to prove that anything like that really wasn't possible. And the discovery of hyperbolic geometry ushered in the whole field of non-Euclidean geometry, which is now the geometry that underlies general relativity and will tell us about the structure of the universe. So what's really two things that are fascinating to me about this. One is that um, while some of the greatest mathematical minds were trying to prove that this was impossible, brainless sea slugs and corals were meanwhile just getting onto it because they'd never heard about Euclid's laws and they didn't know it was impossible. But so mathematicians discovered that hyperbolic geometry was possible um, and it's like a geometric equivalent of the negative numbers. They discovered that at the beginning of the 19th century, but they didn't have ways to make models of it. And it wasn't until um, a mathematician at Cornell University, Dr. Dinah Taimina, came along in 1993 and she said, you know what, guys, I think I can make a model of that with knitting and crochet. And so she did make a model of it, and she sh this is one that she made, and she showed that you could stitch lines onto it to demonstrate the underlying um, mathematical insight about this space, which is that it doesn't actually um, conform to one of the, pa the postulates of Euclid's geometry, which is called the parallel postulate. So here in crochet is a, a stitchery woolen proof that the most famous proposition in mathematics isn't actually true. And what I like about this is, is this issue that mathematics actually is something that can and often is incarnated. It isn't just this abstract thing. It is actually there in things and that by actually manipulating things and building things and making things and doing things and playing with things, we can actually play mathematics.